I'm going to tell you a little secret that we, I, I've yet to tell anyone. Uh, not really a secret, I guess. But, um, us doing a show, us doing, us building the Pixel Guys, the reason that I still have, I'm still on this channel, the reason Sean and I do wrestling predictions, the reason that we went through our channel being taken down and being put all back up together again. Um, is because of this man. His name is Joe Brown. He's one of the first few people I met when I went to KBTX. Um, KBTX, of course, was my very first job. Um... This man meant a lot to a lot of people. Um, this past Friday, he unfortunately lost his battle with cancer. Um, um, it... Joe lost his battle with cancer. Age of 56. Um, he, um, when we first did the Pixel Guys, um, fun fact, Sean, Cody, and I the first time we ever even thought of doing the Pixel Guys was back at KBTX. We thought we could do it as a segment for the station. You know, Joe supported it. If, uh, if memory serves right, Joe supported that. Um, and, you know, I I'm not going to air, dirty laundry, and all this crap about KBTX, you know. I've had a lot of crap happen to me at that station. Joe was one of the few that, you know, saw that I wanted to do more than just run cameras, right? Um, so, real quick, we'll play this segment here. It is with heavy hearts that we share some sad news from our own KBTX family. Former KBTX news anchor Joe Brown lost his battle with cancer this morning. Joe was born and raised right here in the Brazos Valley and he called it home for most of his life. He loved the Brazos Valley stories and he loved sharing them with you. News 3's Michael Loder takes a look back at his life and at the legacy he left here at KBTX. Joe Brown was a true son of the Brazos Valley. Born in Madisonville to a Baptist preacher, the son of Gerald and Cynthia Brown grew up in B-Dice. Joe graduated from Madisonville High and went on to Texas State University. And in 1989, Joe came to KBTX. Now when you drive by the school and just take a glance, everything may appear to be normal. On and off over the next three decades, Joe shared the stories of the Brazos Valley. As a reporter at News 3, then in communications for the city of Bryan. Good evening, Brazos Valley. I'm Joe Brown. Joe returned to KBTX in the summer of 2001, this time behind the anchor desk. Over nearly 10 years, he shared the news in more than 4,000 newscasts. And in 2010, Joe signed off from KBTX. But his career off air wasn't far from media, serving as marketing and communications director for the former College Station Medical Center. It would be a face Joe knew from KBTX that would be his lasting love. In 2008, he married Lisa Cangelosi. She worked in sales at the station, and she was by his side in 2019 when he was diagnosed with cancer. It's been the, the hardest job I've ever had. Joe loved to tell a story and genuinely cared about the people of this community. 
The guidance he gave to a generation of growing journalists helped shape the future of KBTX. In his last interview, Joe remarked on his legacy. I just hope that I've left an imprint on the community as much as the community has left their imprint on me. And of course we can say a resounding yes to that last request. His memorial service will be held next Saturday morning at Callaway Jones Funeral Home here in Bryan. So, I want you to, I want to go back. Generation the news, aired the news in more than 4,000 newscasts. See that camera move? That one, the one before it? I learned those camera moves. Hell, they probably pulled a newscast from um, from when I was working there. Um, those four sitting on that desk right there were the four first four people I ever met. You know, and the one I really had a lasting, really good relationship was the man on the right here. Uh, Bob French, his album is, you may or may not be able to see is behind me up here, which I put digitally on iTunes, but Joe, Joe, he was one of those people that, from what I can remember, he was, he, he, he wasn't. He was firm when he needed to be, but he was usually very cool, very relaxed. Probably one of the greatest journalists in years that I ever met. Um, so, tonight, and until the end of the year, because in 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 a in a time in our country where now more than ever. We need we 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 need to rely on some of the best in this business. The business that I started working in, the business that is still ingrained in my DNA. Well before KBTX actually. The shows we do here on this channel, and I'll probably clip this and put it on Daniel Slash Studios, will be dedicated to him. Um, you know, it's amazing, you know, I see that set behind them. Where that sports center is. That was the first time Sean Cody and I decided to do the Pixel Guys. And I remember one time Joe came by and he was like, Hey guys, what y'all doing? And we are just, oh, we're just trying to tape a little segment that we could do, uh, do together called the Pixel Guys. He was like, oh, okay, that's cool. You know, he kind of helped us a little bit, you know, and, and... You look up to people who believe in what you want to do. Um, but I just wanted to let y'all know that. <clears throat> so, what do you say we play some Overwatch, yeah? <laughs> 